Hey guys, welcome to the second portion of the how-to video with uh, commentary, things like this. This is how to live stream. And with that, first of all, you're going to want a stereo mix. Um, I, it's Again, it's different, so I'm not really going to be able to go over it because it's different for each sound card. In Realtek, it's really easy to set. Um, otherwise, you can use Camtasia, but my assumption is most of you can't afford Camtasia. So go ahead and use VH Screen Capture which is a free download, just search for it on Google or if you look in the corner on that link. Um, also download Flash Media Live Encoder. You do have to put in your information to Adobe to do so, but it's a free download as well. And then get yourself a Justin.tv or a Ustream account. Uh, live stream, a little bit more annoying to use. It's just one of those two. And what you're going to need to do for that once you've created the account is somewhere on each of those websites you can search for the metadata. Um, or the XML, and that is the information you're going to need to input here to the right. I'm using justin.tv, so automatically in the FMS URL, I'll know I need to put rmtp colon backslash backslash live, or I guess forward slash forward slash, whatever, um, slash whack whack, <laughs> whack whack live.justin.tv backslash whack app. Um, I know people get really annoyed with the forward slash backslash thing, but whatever. Anyway, stream in this little thing will be the metadata, and if the metadata doesn't load for you when you go file, save, or uh, open profile, then just copy the data out of there where you see like some actual information, put it right here in stream, then connect to see if it's working. Um, before you do all that, though, you're going to want to set up VH screen capture, which, uh, let's see if I can find it. There it is. So that's the device you're going to work with. Select uh, for, uh, capture first. You can set your width, or you can just click your tr your track window or uh, track screen actually, and or sorry, select window. So you just hit select and then select the window you're trying to record from. Um, one caveat here is is whatever you're going to be live streaming, you prob you're going to need it in windowed mode. Otherwise, it's going to flicker. Um, and this is very processor and RAM intensive. Less on the hard drive, although my hard drive seems to... It's a trooper. It's been going for a long time, and it's suffered a lot, but it is kind of... It can mess with your system in this. Um, anyway, if you go into settings, frame rate, you actually want a, f a pretty decent frame rate here. So I set mine to 25, and that is what is going to go into your RAM or run on your processor. It's kind of the local storage before it's going out through Flash Media Live Encoder. So set that actually decently high, and you probably want to be recording recording at a pretty high resolution um, as well, so 920, 1080, something like that to get decent quality. Now once you're in Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, once you've selected the device right here, VH Screen Cap, uh, right, currently it's at VP6, you can also do H.264 if, you can, uh, if you've downloaded a codec for it, hopefully that didn't crash this. Your frame rate, actually, I have it at 25, you want to reduce it to something like 10 or somewhere between 10 and 15 because with the loss that's going to be happening on screen and kind of the illusion of motion that happens with streaming on the internet the higher frame rate really isn't going to help you and you want to up the input size as high as you can and the higher the bit rate the better the quality but uh, another caveat you want a solo connection to do this aka you want a really high speed connection and no roommates or no family that's going to be on the connection because when you're doing this it is going to be brutal on the internet connection it is going to absolutely crush it it will lag everyone else it might lag your game it is very intensive i usually do this around because i don't have the best oops best internet connection around 650 sometimes 800 um, but yeah the higher output size will give it a better resolution on screen, it'll look better for people. The lower frame rate really won't affect anything and it'll actually help your overall performance. Um, the audio device stuff, again, I would really wouldn't worry about. Keep it around 41, uh, 44, 100, and that's pretty standard. Um, I guess I could up the bit rate to 192, but I've lowered it again because, again, I don't have the best internet connection currently. Don't not rule in the dough to do that. Um, anyway, otherwise, once you have that stream metadata in there, you can just hit connect. Everything should be working. You can look on your own stream while streaming. It's kind of a funny effect. You get that tunnel vision, and that'll and then go sign up someplace um, to get it streamed, and then you're good to go. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I might make a revision on this for any additional questions. If you want to record and do this at the same time, probably the best way to do it. Let's see if I can show it again. Really hard you, uh, to. Hopefully this didn't crash it again. You can click DVR record right there, and what that'll do is that'll set up FLVs, and you can actually take those FLVs, which are rather small, and upload them directly to YouTube or wherever you're going to upload them to um, pretty easily. 
because they're small files and I think YouTube's still running on FLVs on H.264 which I know sounds like mumbo jumbo but uh, don't worry about it it should work just fine so hope you guys enjoy it might be lower quality though once it's going up to YouTube it's kind of a weird caveat doing trying to do both at once but anyway if you have any questions uh, post it in the comment maybe some users can help you out or I will try to answer questions and good luck streaming amongst other things hope you guys continue to enjoy my commentaries and enjoy making them on your own and let us stop this video. No, stop.